have you all here at our Tour to the Tribes uh, sister gathering. And we want to just do a special welcome to the ladies over in the South Idaho Women's Correctional Institute. Um, under uh, Chaplain Lakita um, Tomlinson, we're so glad that you're joining us and watching this recording as we send it out. And we hope you'll enjoy um, our conversations and our time together as, um, as we are always blessed when all of us ladies get together. So we're going to go ahead and start our night out with um, an opening prayer, Donna. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you so, so much for your mercy and for your grace for this day, for your love, for giving us breath in our lungs to praise you. We thank you that you have determined for us the order of our steps. And we thank you for this platform. We are so, just so grateful that we can come together, your daughters from all over the world. How amazing this is. And we are just so excited to hear from one another, to see each other's smiling faces and to sharpen one another, to encourage one another, to be blessed by one another, and to bless you, Father. Father, we ask that your Ruach HaKodesh, your Holy Spirit, would lead and guide us this evening. We want to go your way. We have a plan, but we want to go your way. So you, you have permission to interrupt us at any time, Father, and to do what you need to do tonight Amen. as we meet together. So, Father, we ask that you would um, just protect this connection and um, that those, Father, who would really need to hear a word from you would hear it, that our eyes would be open, our ears would be open, our hearts would be open to you. We love you so much, and we love one another. So, Father, let your love just go through these computers and phones. You are everywhere at once. We, we are not separated by distance. So we thank you in advance what you're going to do tonight as we come together to worship you, to learn about praising you, and to fellowship with one another. We thank you. We praise you. In the name of your son, Yahusha, our Kohen Haggadah, our righteous king, our high priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we're just so blessed to um, have you all on tonight. Um, I see Sophia just logged in. Good to see you, Sophia. And um, we uh, tonight are going to be really blessed to, we have a sister, um, her name is Carolyn, who has been with Tour to the Tribes for quite a while, and she's, I mean, she's such a blessing, has a heart to serve in whatever capacity um, that we need, and she has um, done some in-depth studies. Uh, she has one about the shofar, and she has one tonight that she's going to give us about praise, uh, what praise is. And uh, I just wanted to direct, if you are new and um, to tour to the tribes and the teachings, some of the terminology that you may be hearing is um, some Hebrew words. And those Hebrew words usually is, um, you'll hear us call uh, Yeshua. Yeshua is actually uh, Jesus' na Hebrew name. Uh, we, come, we call him by his, his uh, Hebrew name. And then you'll also know that, notice that we call um, God, or El we call him Elohim. Elohim is his um, is a Hebrew term for God, but his name is Yahuwah. And when it says in scripture that we call him by his name, we do that particularly. We know Lord is not his name. Lord is like a, um, a Lord of the land or 
you know, um, we, so we do not call him Lord, but we will call him Yahuwah. So if you are hearing those terms, so you know who we are actually directing to. We hope that helps as we um, further on into our discussions and our prayers. So it's just with great pleasure tonight that I um, introduce, I'm going to turn it over to you, Carolyn, okay. and uh, go ahead. Okay, 30 ways to praise Yahuwah and 31 reasons for who he is. As this presentation starts, as these pictures go before your eyes, please marvel at the creation of Yahuwah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Psalms 145.3. This revelation changed my life. Just understand what praise and worship does to SA10 is mind-boggling. We tie his hands. We make him powerless with the power that is within us. John 14.28. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and I come again unto you. If you love me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. John 16, 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away, for if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. What happens when the Ruach realm, in the Ruach realm, when we initiate each expression of praise as they all bring prosperity, healing, and deliverance from demonic forces who become powerless and are affected sometimes humorously with every single expression of halal? You will be experiencing the joy of picturing many things found in the Bible for your concept of what is beyond the veil in the Ruach realm of Yahuwah. Halal is used 165 times in the Old Testament, Old Testament and is usually translated as praise. Halal, prim, the primary root word for praise, which is also the root word for hallelujah, to be clear, to boast, to be clamorously foolish, make foolish, to rave, to celebrate, commend, to sing, praise, to renown. It's Throngs number 1984. Praise and worship begins with the sounding of the shofar, Psalms 150. Praise Yahuwah, praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise Yahuwah. Jeremiah 51, 20. You are my war club, my weapon for battle. With you, I shatter nations. With you, I destroy kingdoms. Seventy-two Jewish elders, six from each gathered in Alexandria, Egypt, in 285 to 246 B.C., and translated the Hebrew language of the Bible into exact Greek equal, equal words, because Greek was the universal language at that time. The Jewish community in Egypt spoke Greek, not Hebrew, so a Greek translation of the Old Testament was needed. The Septuagint, or LXX was the standard Old Testament text used by the early New Testament Christian church. The Septuagint, LXX, is the Bible. Actually, Yahushua, Yahushua quoted from it in the New Testament. Since there were 72 Jewish elders who translated it, they named it the Septuagint, meaning 70, or the Roman numerals. LXX. When you see LXX written anywhere concerning the 30 praises of Hillel, it is important to know that this means the exact Greek equal to an Old Testament Hebrew word. We look, into the, we look to the words of the New Testament for fulfillment of the Old Testament scripture. Although there is a tremendous amount of praise in the New Testament, 
Many of the mysteries of praise can only be comprehended by seeing the original Greek language of the New Testament. This is where the Septuagint is profoundly important. The Greek Aino Strong 137, the New Testament's equal to Hillel 30 praises, which literally takes the place of the Old Testament animal sacrifices. This is the sacrifice of praise. Romans 15, 16, the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Ruach HaKodesh. Romans 12, 1, present your bodies a living sacrifice, Kodesh, Kodesh acceptable unto Yahuwah, which is your reasonable service. Hebrews 10, 5, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body hast thou prepared me. Psalm 69, 30 and 31. I will praise Hillel, X, uh, LX9, Alino, the name of Yahuwah. This shall pray, please Yahuwah, better than an ox or a bullock that hath horns and hoofs. Hebrews 13, 15, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahuwah continually. One of the first things recorded in the New Testament was high praise. The angels pierced the veil and seeped over from the rock realm into the natural realm and we see and were seen at Yahushua's birth. Luke 2, 13, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising Yahuwah. Luke 2, 20. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising Yahuwah for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. At the Feast of Tabernacles, everyone did 30 praises to Yahuwah. Luke 19, 13. And when he was come nigh, even now at the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise Yahuwah with a loud voice for all the mighty works that he had, they had seen. Praising Yahuwah and having favor with all the people, and Yahuwah added to the church daily such as should be saved. That was Acts 2, 47. Acts 3, 8. And he leaping stood up, up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising Yahuwah. Acts 3 9. And all the people saw him praising Yahuwah. After Yahusha had descended into heaven, the very next thing Yahuwah's people did in the New Testament was Luke 24 53 and were continually in the praising and blessing Yahuwah. Amen. Revelation 19, 5, and a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our Yahuwah, all ye his servants, both small and great. Revelation 19, 6, and I heard as it was the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a mighty thundering saying, Alleluia. 30 ways to praise. These are the words that are found in scripture on praise. Silence, stillness, the mon. Strong's 1820. Psalm 65.1. Silence having a quiet rock, calm, still which sometimes make the sound of shh. For a command of silence which destroys and utterly cuts off the enemy. God's word, Debar. Strong 1696 and 1697. Psalms 56, 4. To put words in order and speak. 1 Corinthians 29, 29. Write or 2 Samuel 22, 1, sing them, pattern from which everything was formed, 
Yahuwah himself, an entity, person, or being unto itself. The Bible, subdue and destroy the enemy. Breath, Hashem, strong 5395, and rock, strong 7307. Psalms 156, the divine breath from the soul and the ruach of an individual that when released forth, Ecclesiastes 1, 6, whirls as it becomes a fiery blast and a loud sound, like a rocket to blow away and destroy the enemy, to pant, bring forth birth. Psalms 151, 6. In his sanctuary, everything that hath breath, Nesham, praise, Halal, Halal, Yahuwah. Blowing the ram's horn, shofar, saw, uh, strong 7782, Psalms 150, 1 and 3. Usually a ram's horn, when blown, serenades the creator and causes repentance and submission to him. 1 Kings 1, 38 through 40. Sometimes the shofar is blown during a march or dance. Prophecy, preach, sing. Psalms 149, 1. To prophesy, one called by Yahuwah to preach or teach. Yahuwah speaking or singing through the echo of a man or woman's voice. Also when playing music or as the rock wills. One who is divinely enabled, divinely enabled to look into the future liquid. Excuse so, me, Carolyn. Carolyn. Yes. I, I just want to be sure that everyone understands what the word ruach means, in case you do not. Of course. Okay, so the ruach means spirit. So when you're seeing her say ruach, it's the spirit. And yes. when you see Kodesh, it means holy. Yes. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just want to make sure that's clear. Thank you, Tamara. That's important. Uh, Sheer, Shari, or Sheer, Strong 7891 and 7892. A man or woman singing song celebrating Yahuwah with all their heart and soul, which forms a circle of deliverance in the spirit realm or the rock realm. First Chronicles 13.8. David and all of Israel, Shari, or sang, played and danced during a Kodesh mark for Yahuwah. Music, dance, Zamar, Strong's 2167. Psalms 135.3, to prophesy, one called by Yahuwah to preach or teach. Yahuwah speaking or singing through the echo of a man's walk. I think I've done this one, but some of them um, coincide with each other, so I may not have. Excuse me. Yahuwah speaking or singing through the echo of a man or woman's voice, also when playing music or as the rock wills. One who is divinely enabled, enabled to look into the future liquid. Shout, Bukha, Strong 7321. And I'm not sure how you say that one. It's Turin... To run up. Ezra 3.11, to make a loud ear-splitting noise by shouting for joy, Leviticus 23.24, blowing the shofar or playing music, Psalms 89.15, sometimes during a march or dance which heals and is spiritual warfare as it alarms, terrifies, destroys, and terrifies. Of the enemy. Ra or to Ra and to Ra, excuse me, strong seven three twenty one and eighty six forty three to make a loud ear splitting noise by shouting for joy. Leviticus twenty three twenty four. Blowing the shofar or playing music. Psalms eighty nine fifteen. Sometimes during a march or dance, which heals and is spiritual warfare as it alarms, terrorizes, destroys, and triumphs over the enemy. Laugh, 
Dance Gacho, um, Strong 7832. Ecclesiastes 2, to rejoice and make merry by laughing, dancing, regardless of the seriousness of a situation. Psalms 37, 13. Yahuwah shall laugh, Sacho shall at him, Satan, for he seeth his day is coming. Hallelujah. Clapping hands, Naka, 5, 2, 2, 1. 2 Kings 1, 11, 11, and 12, 2, Chronicles 23, 12. To clap with the hands which smite with terror, striking as lightning, 2 Kings 11, 11 through 12. The temple they clapped because their hands, 2 Chronicles 23, 2, praising Hallel, Genesis 19, 11, gives blindness to both small and great demons. So they wearied themselves to find the door. I think that is so funny. They're finding the fit, fastest way to get out. Judges 7, 13, Satan is smote, fell, and overturned, or doing somersaults away from you. <laughs> That's humorous, and he can't stand praise. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Clap, smite, gives Satan madness, craziness, astonishment of the heart, with a heart attack, and makes his whole head sick. Job 2, 7. With sore boils, from the soles of his feet foot to unto his crown. Psalms 3, 7. Slaps the face on the chest and broken the teeth of the ungodly. Hallelujah. Uplifted hands, Yada, 30, 34. Second Chronicles 31, 2. To lift up our head, hearts, in our, hearts in our hands in thanks to Yahuwah, which brings fellowship, direction, power, and creation. To 7, 1, self, in sacred spiritual perfection. Second Chronicles 30, 22. Seven, um, Strong's seven, six, five, one, and seven, six, five, oh, Shabbat. Making confession, Yada. Yahuwah fights every spiritual battle with his hand lifted in a wave offering, Isaiah 30, 32 as when in every place where the grounded staff shall pass, Yahuwah shall lay upon him in battles of shaking. He will fight it. Wave heave offering, the dim, Exodus 29, 27, Psalms 107, 32. To celebrate and exalt Yahuwah by offering sacrifices of praise with a wave heave offering, which is raised high and causes you to triumph over anything. Spin, the span of a hand. Zechariah 22, 19 and Isaiah 41, 16. To winnow, fan, sow seeds, beget our birth by lifting the hand, locking the elbow, spreading out the fingers and whirling your arm and hand in a circle. Shake, dance, ma. Strong's 5286 and 5287. Nehemiah 5:13. To speak the heart as a lion shakes its mane. To shake the body or hands, the rocking of the body forward and backwards or swaying from side to side. To yell, shout, or roar like a lion. Revelations 5.5, 5. Yahushua is the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Jump, leap, allows, Strong's 5.397, allots, Strong's 5.970, Psalms 149.3 through 5, to leap, jump, and dance for joy with all your heart, which always triumphs over anything. Skip, hop, 
to Psalm uh, Strong 6852, Psalms 148, 7 and 10. To skip and hop like a sparrow, which is the friendliest and most cheerful of all birds. Genesis Strong 6852, Test VR definition is revolve, dance in a circle, leap. As you dance, a fire begins to form around you in the rock realm, in the spirit realm. Genesis 15, 7 through 18. As you, Yahuwah has made Kareth a covenant march in a figure eight, which cuts off Satan's hands, tongue, tail, and all their right eyes. Gilyal, or spinning, cuts off half of his beard, cuts off all his seed, all witchcraft, magic, and familiar spirits completely disappear from you as all the demonic forces are completely cut off, cast out, and perish from the church and your city. Spin, and I don't know how to say that, it's G-I-X-L, and it's 524 and 1525. It's Gil. Gil? I think so. Say it again. Gil. Okay, so the X is silent. I think so. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, Isaiah 41, 16, to rejoice and laterally dance by spinning around under the influence of any genuine violent motion, emotion. Worry. Chuel, 2342. Psalms 149.3, whirl, freestyle, choreographed, congregational dance, danced in dances, Judges 21.21, Exodus 15.20, and Isaiah 18.6. Sometimes dance during a march and becomes as the full process of creation and brings forth dance, an emotional movement of the body. Dance Quirrell QL or QIL. Uh, Strong's 2428, Psalms 49.6. Quirrell Freestyle Choreographed Congregational Dance, Dance and Dances, Judge 2121, Exodus 15. Did I already do this? I don't know. Exodus 1520, Isaiah 18.6. I think I did. Sometimes dance during the march becomes its full process of creation and brings forth dance. Definition, an emotional movement of the body. Pound earth dance, raka, strong 7554, Psalms 151, to stamp and pound the earth forcibly as a sigh of passion and zeal by using the bottom to the feet to thrust them down and up in a type of dance, to found birth, build, expand, and stretch, which becomes as a type of spiritual hammering. Dance, March, Donesh, 1758, Isaiah 41, 15, and 16, a battering ram that whirls before Yahuwah with all his might, leaping, Seeking Dance March Darash, Strong's 1875, Psalms 22, 26, excuse me. Trampling, treading, threshing, tearing, and breaking down the enemy into pieces as in battle, while whirling during a congregational dance or while moving in a march in a circle. March, dance, run, halak. Strong's 1980. Job 31:26. To tread, march, and dance in a circle with, with praises while seeking, asking, and loving Yahuwah with all thy heart, all thy soul, and with all thy might. March, dance, chagav. 
Strong's 2282 and 2287, Second Chronicles 30, 21, Yahuwah's voice, Jonah 6, 13, the Jericho march, Habakkuk 1, 6, March, Ecclesiastes 1, 6, Worla, Psalms 89, 15, Shout, Ezekiel 31, 4, Running in a Circle, Psalms 131 is exercising that curses, subdues, hits, and stings as a scorpion. Liberal Giving March Makar, Strong's 4503, First Chronicles 16, 25, and 29. A voluntary offering of money or gifts often presented during a march and upon reaching the, re reaching the offering plate, lifted up towards Yahuwah's face and sometimes waved as a return of thanks for his favors and wonderful love and kindness to us. Run, dance, roots, strong 7323, 2 Chronicles 2312, to run haste on a racetrack as a champion in the Olympic Games and as a royal messenger. Second Chronicles 23, 12. The people running, ruts, and praising unto the house of Yahuwah. The sun has three actions, run, compass, whirl, all in a circle. Banners, flags, and streamers. Strong's 5, 2, 5, 1. Isaiah 62, 9 and 10. Read the word of Yahuwah on a sign with unstrained talk declaring Yahushua, a token of friendship between him and you, a large cloth banner declaring Yahushua's, Yahushua, a large cloth banner or smaller flag with colors, patterns, streamers, or, medical, or metal all attached to a pole. To speak, bless, kneel, bless, Barak. Psalms, uh, Strong's 1288, Psalms 104, 35. Blessing Yahuwah by showing him submission and acknowledging his superiority and unconditional love. When you, Psalms 95, 6, kneel as a soldier and Isaiah 13, 10, salute. 2 Samuel 14, 22, thanked. Psalm 72, 15, praised. Psalms 134, 2, lift up hands. Chronicles 20, bow heads. 2 Samuel 18, 28, fell upon face. Sarmat of praise. Strong 4, 5, 9, 8. Isaiah 61, 3. I will greatly praise the Lord with my mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude to point unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified, Psalms 109, 29, and 30. Let my adversaries be clothed with shame and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with the mantle. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify Yahuwah with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahuwah and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Worship, Shaka, Strong 7812, Chronicles 2930, to worship you, wonderful and might, Yahuwah, by showing intense love with demonstration of your feelings, to bend at the waist and prostrate on the floor, Psalm 68.4, sing music, Isaiah 27.13, Shofar, Nehemiah 8, 6, uplifting hands, 
Ezekiel 4, 31, 32, and 5 through 19. Psalms 106, 19, March, choreograph, world, congregational freestyle dance, shout. Psalms 2, 11, spin, leap, I will set up my standard on my banner flags. Isaiah 49, 20 through 22 through 23, made haste, Exodus 34, 8, Mark 5, 6, a liberal off, uh, 1 Chronicles 16, 29. In my show, each one of these things comes up individually, so I'm, I apologize that I'm not able to do it that way. Notice all the, the scriptures coming out from her mouth. Psalms 34, 3 through 4. Oh, magnify Yahuwah with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought Yahuwah and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. But he was worshipped for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the, I can't see that, heritage of the servants of, the, of Yahuwah. And their righteousness is of me, saith Yahuwah. Behold, I give to you power to tread serpents and scorpions over the power of the enemy. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, lest he fall. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto the mountains, Be thou removed. And, they, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. Be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm, in the faith. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahuwah, to them who are called according to his purpose. I did this for the ladies who are by themselves, that you will know that you are not alone. A single woman Prayer life, her weapon of warfare, are not carnal, but mighty through, through Yahuwah. Fear not, for I am your Yahuwah. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold you up with my righteousness, my right hand. When life hurts and the battles continue to rage in our lives, we can, be, we can still praise Yahuwah because his goodness, compassion, love, and grace do not change with our circumstances. He is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. One day at the end of time, he will make all things right. On that day, I can guarantee that no one will walk away saying, that's not fair. As we praise Yahuwah for his character, we are partnering, partnering with him and ushering his presence into our hearts and our circumstances. Psalms 22, 3 says that Yahuwah inhabits the praises of his people. So praising Yahuwah is part of our battle, whether it's our heart's posture or our circumstances, something has to shift because Yahuwah's word is powerful and doesn't return empty, Isaiah 55, 11. Let us be encouraged that Yahuwah has promised to be with us in life's battle so we can praise his name even in the midst of the battle. 
You shall not fight in this. Set yourselves, stand, and see the salvation of Yahuwah with you, Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, to go out against them tomorrow, for Yahuwah is with you. Second Chronicles 20, 17. These are the same words from an from immutable, immutable uh, Yahuwah as were spoken by Moses to the children of Israel when they were surrounded by armies of Egypt, saying, Do not be afraid, afraid. stand still and see the salvation of Yahuwah, which he will show you today for the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall see them again no more. Exodus 14, 13. They are the words of encouragement that Joshua spoke to the children of Israel as they entered into the promised land, saying, Do not be afraid nor dismayed by the strong and of good courage for this, for thus shall Yahuwah do to all your enemies against whom you shall fight. Joshua 10, 25. And it is the promise of the deliverance of the beloved of the Lord which was manifested in the fullness of time. Break forth into joy. Sign together, you waste places of Jerusalem. For Yahuwah has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. For Yahuwah has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of Yahuwah. For all the things... For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might be through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of Yahuwah. For which cause we do not faint, but through the outward man perish, the, though the outward man perish, yet the inner is renewed day by day. 2 Corinthians 4.15 Yahuwah is nigh to them that are of a broken heart, and save as such as be of a contrite spirit, Isaiah 61, 1 through 3. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Yahuwah, is upon me, because Yahuwah hath anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. He has set me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptance, the acceptable year of Yahuwah and the day of vengeance of our Elohim to comfort all that mourn, to appoint to them the mount, that mount in Zion, to give them the beauty and the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planning of Yahuwah, that he might be justified. 31 reasons to praise Yahuwah. Yahuwah, the creator, creator Yahuwah, I praise you because you made the heavens, even the highest heavens and all their starry hosts, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, you give life to everything. The multitudes of heaven worship you. Nehemiah 9, 6. The only Yahuwah. Yahuwah, I praise you because you are Elohim. And there is no Yahuwah besides you. Isaiah 45, 5. The almighty Yahuwah of O Elohim. Yahuwah Almighty, who is like you, mighty, O Elohim, and your faithfulness surrounds you, Psalms 89, 8. The everlasting Abba, the ancient of days, I praise you, Elohim, as the ancient of days, Daniel 7, 9, the everlasting Abba, Isaiah 9, 6, who lives forever and ever Loving Yahuwah, I praise you, Yahuwah, because you are loving, who, whose very nature is love. 1 John 4, 16. 
Yahuwah of justice, Elohim, I praise and magnify you who are just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Yahushua. Romans 3, 26. Faithful Yahuwah, Heavenly Abba, I give you praise and adoration because you are faithful, keeping your covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love you and keep your commandments. Deuteronomy 7, 9. Merciful Yahuwah, you are gracious and merciful Yahuwah. Nehemiah 9, 31. And I praise you for you, you but for your great mercy. Yahuwah, my refuge and my fortress, I praise you for you are my, my mighty rock, my refuge. Psalms 62, 7. Patient, preserving Yahuwah. Abba, I praise you because you are patient with your children, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. 2 Peter 3, 9b. And I thank you for your patience with me. Eternal, saving, Abba, I give praise to you, Abba, the only Yahuwah, our Savior. You are to be glory, you, to you be glory, majesty, dominion, and power through Yahushua, our Elohim, before all ages now and forevermore. Jude 25. The Holy One, holy, holy, holy are you, Elohim, Yahuwah Almighty, who was and is and is to come, Revelations 4, 8. Personal Yahuwah, I praise you, Yahuwah, because you are a personal Yahuwah who gives me the honor of knowing you personally, even inviting me to feast at your table in the kingdom with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Matthew 8. Giving Yahuwah all praise and honor to be yours. O oh, Yahuwah, because you are a generous Yahuwah who did not even stop short of giving your son, John 3, 16. Yahuwah, my provider, I praise you today, Elohim, as Yahuwah Yara, my provider, who makes all grace abound to me and generously provides all I need and more, so I give my so so I may give to others. Second Corinthians nine eight. Yahuwah, my shepherd, I bless your name and praise you as Yahuwah Raha the Elohim, my shepherd, who will shepherd me and guide me in the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Psalms 23, 1 through 3. Yeah. Praise to you, my Yahuwah, because you are Yehovah Nisi, the Elohim, my banner, Yahuwah, my victory, who always causes me to triumph in Christ, or in Yahushua, 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Yahuwah, my peace, I praise you with all my heart, Elohim, because you are Yahu Yehovah Shalom, the Elohim, my peace, my Yahuwah of peace. You will soon crush the tan under my feet, Romans 6, 20. The Yahuwah, my healer, Abba, I praise you because you are Yahuwah Rapha, the Elohim, my, he my healer, Exodus 15, 26. And it was by your stripes that I was healed, 1 Peter 2, 24. The Yahuwah of all comfort, 
Praise be to the Yahuwah and Abba of our Elohim, Yahushua HaMashiach, the Abba of our compassion and Yahuwah of all comfort. 2 Corinthians. Yahuwah of miracles, Elohim, I praise you because you are Yahuwah performs miracles. You display your power among the people. Psalm 77, 14. A forgiving Yahuwah, I want to bless you with praise, Abba, because you are forgiving, a forgiving Yahuwah, gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in love, Nehemiah 9, 17. The faithful Yahuwah, I praise you because your love, O Elohim, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies, Psalms 36, 5. And great is your faithfulness, Lamentations 3, 23. King of kings and Elohim of Elohims, all honor and praise be to you, my Yahuwah, the blessed and only sovereign ruler, the King of kings and Elohim of Elohims. 1 Timothy 6, 15. Yahuwah, my deliverer, I will praise you because you are my help and my deliverer, O Elohim. Psalm 75. The lifter of my head, Abba Yahuwah, I praise you because you are a shield around me, O Elohim. You bestow glory on me and lift my head when I am weary or worn down. Psalms 3, 3. The lifter of my head, Abba Yahuwah, I praise you because you are a shield around me. I guess I did this twice, but it's worth repeating. O Elohim, you bestow glory on me and the lift and lift my head when I am weary or worn down. Yahuwah of light, I praise you, Elohim, because you are my light and my salvation. Psalms 27, 1. And because you know what lies in darkness and light dwells with you. Daniel 2, 22. Yahuwah of joy, I give you praise, O Elohim, because you have granted me eternal blessings and made me glad with the joy of your presence. Psalms 21, 6. Yahuwah, who answers prayers, I praise and honor you, Abba, because you are a Yahuwah who loves to answer prayer and who begins to answer even before I pray. Isaiah 65:24. Praise in the battle, 2 Chronicles 20, 1 through 30. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing unto the Lord and praise him for the splendor of his holiness as they went out at the head of the army, saying, Give thanks to Yahuwah, for his love endureth forever. As they began to sing in praise, Yahuwah set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir, who were invading Judah. We can only imagine the extent of King Jehoshaphat's alarm and, overwhelm, and overwhelming when he got the news that a massive army was on its way to fight against Judah. What terror! He knew that with the size of the army and the distance to which they had already traveled, his only hope was Yahuwah's intervention. That realization drove him and all of Judah to their knees in desperation. This was a universal fast that even included infants. Yahuwah extended his grace to Judah and assured them through the prophet Jael that he was with them and that his battle and the battle was his. At this news, a lot of us, including myself, would have immediately gotten up, celebrated and started preparing right away. 
Instead, the nations of Judah took the time to praise and worship Yahuwah. Praising Yahuwah took priority over everything else on their to-do list. Then, as they marched out to battle the next day, they sent the worshipers out ahead of the army. In this way, they were marching in triumph instead of fear. As they began to praise Yahuwah, he began to move on their behalf. And he said, hearken all Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem and you King Jehoshaphat. Thus has Yahuwah said unto you, do not be afraid or dismayed by the reason of the great multitude for the battle is not yours, but Yahuwah's, Second Chronicles 20, 15. You have no doubt heard the word worship many times, but have you considered what it really means? Have you ever wondered what Yahuwah considers true worship? Is there any information hidden in the Hebrew letters themselves that would help us understand more about worship? Does anything point to our Messiah? In the ancient prophet te prophetic text, the book of Joshua records the ancient the account, excuse me, of the people of Elohim entering and conquering the land promised to them through their father Abraham. After the miracle of crossing the Jordan River at flood stage on dry ground and be, before the attack on the, for, the fortified city of Jericho, Joshua experienced a surprised encounter with a very unusual warrior. I wasn't aware that there was two times that the that the uh, waters parted for them. The Battle of Jericho is an incident from the book of Joshua, being the first battle fought by the Israelites and in the course of the con conquest of Canaan. According to Joshua 6, 1 through 7, the walls of Jericho fell after the Israelites marched every day once for six days around the city and seven times on the seventh day, then blew their trumpets or their shofars. The book of Joshua is a story of how Israel conquered Canaan. Joshua, the leader of the Israelites, sent two spies to Jericho, the first city of Canaan, as they decided to conquer and discover the land, was in fear of them and their Yahuwah. The Israelites marched around the walls once every day for six days with the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant. On the seventh day, they marched seven times around the walls. Then the priests blew their ram's horns. The Israelites raised a great shout, and the walls of the city fell. Following Yahuwah's law, they killed every man, woman, and child, as well as the oxen, sheep, and donkeys. Only Rahab the Canaanite prostitute who had sheltered the spies, her parents, brothers, and all those who belonged to her were spared. Joshua then cursed anyone or anybody who rebuilt the foundations and gates with the, the deaths of their firstborn and youngest child, respectively. This was eventually fulfilled by Hillel, the, the Bethot, under King uh, Ahab's reign. Yahuwah frequently takes someone or something small and does something big. Yahuwah delights in showing his power through people who look like castaways, situations that look impossible. How else is he going to show his power? Never underestimate what Yahuwah can do through you if you make a mistake, if you make available yourself to him. No one in the army of Israel thought a shepherd boy with a sling and a few rocks had a chance against a giant dressed in full armor. David had to endure mockery and ridicule as he approached what looked like an impossible task, but he knew what Joshua knew as his army enriched encircled Jericho. 1 Samuel 17:47. The battle is Yahuwah's. That night, Paul and Silas sat with their feet 
and stocks and sang songs of praise. You can turn a problem into an opportunity to praise Yahuwah. And that opportunity is just a few steps away. Second Chronicles chapter 22 is the story of a man named Jehoshaphat who encountered a problem and was able to praise his way to victory. Yahuwah tells Gideon to get an army, so Gideon gathers up 32,000 fighting men, but there is an army of 135,000 men against Israel. And yet, Yahuwah tells Gideon, you have too many men. Why did Yahuwah say that? It is because if Israel won the war, they might think that they won by themselves. They might think that they didn't need Jehovah's help to win. So Jehovah said to Gideon, tell all the men who are afraid to go back home. When Gideon does this, 22,000 of his fighting men go home. That leaves him only 10,000 men to fight against all those 135,000 soldiers. But listen, Yahuwah says, you still have too many men. So he tells Gideon to have the men drink at the stream and then to send home all the people who put their face down to the water to drink. I will give you the victory with the 300 men who kept watching while they drank. Yahuwah promises. Then the time comes for fight. Gideon puts on his three, puts his 300 men in three groups, he gives to each man a horn, a jar with a torch inside. When it's about midnight, they all gather around the camp of enemy soldiers. Then at the same time, they all blow their horns and break their jars and shout, Yahuwah's sword and, Gideon, and Gideon's when the enemy soldiers wake up they are confused and afraid and they begin to run and and the israelites win the battle what a great example and reminder for us to praise him before the battle is won but what about when you don't know what the outcome of the situation will be and what about when life's journey takes us takes a harrowing turn. Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahuwah continually. That is the fruit of our lips by giving thanks to his name. Psalms 145, 8 through 9, 8. Yahuwah is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and great mercy. Yahuwah is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. I'm having a hard time reading that. The seven colors of the rainbow are not are only a thing of great not only a thing of great beauty, but also have biblical there's a lot uh, I can't read that either. There's a lot uh, there's a lot of, well, help me. I think it's philosophical. Well, philosophical. Significant, specific function and purpose. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Let me move that one down. Red is the first color of the rainbow from the top. Passion, vitality, enthusiasm, and security. It is light with the longest wavelength. Orange is the light of color and is a combination of yellow and red and is dynamic. It is a dynamic color representing creativity, practicality, playfulness, as well as equilibrium or control. Yellow is the color of sunshine itself. It represents clarity of thought, wisdom, ordinances, and energy. Green is the middle color of the rainbow and denotes fertility, growth, balance, health, and wealth. 
Indigo is believed that we're that is believed that where blue is calming, indigo is sedating. Indigo is a mystical is mystical and it bridges the gap between finite and infinite. Indigo colored gemstones are often used for spiritual attainment, physical ability, self-awareness, and enchantment of intuition. Violet, the last color of the rainbow, is a mix of red and blue. It is considered the highest element of spirituality. It can ignite one's imagination and be an inspiration to artists. Dark tones of violet are associated with sorrow. Deep shades of violet are purple to note high spiritual mastery. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between Yahuwah and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. May we always worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carolyn. Wow, that is full of a lot of information. I didn't know that praise had that many definitions and came in that many different ways. I mean, that was beautiful. I want to say gaucho. Gaucho, <laughs> let's laugh and dance. I loved that term. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn, for sharing. Yes. Does anybody have any comments? Or uh, Suzanne, you want to go ahead You have your hand raised? Uh, hallelujah, Sister Carolyn. Thank you for that word study of the word praises taking us all the way through. I'm, I'm, it probably was through the all of the scripture. I could, you know, it was like Tamara said, it was a lot. And it was just, you know, it just, it's a great reminder for us all. And I love how you ended with the rainbow um, where you talked with the different colors. And right away, um, I think of red. Red is the most, like you said, the longest, you know, wavelength in the color spectrum, and it's the most powerful color. Um, now, how beautiful as a rainbow is, if you were to look up the electromagnetic spectrum in Google, you're going to see that it only is less than 1% of what we can perceive. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, I just wanted to make a comment on the last part. But a couple of things I wanted to... Uh, Inter what I found interesting was the word covenant. And when you showed the slide and you said karat, and there was like cutting off Satan's hands, tongue, tail, and all that, right? I thought of karate right away. <laughs> it's like, Yahuwah knows karate. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so worship, I, I, when, when I think of worship, I think of being a servant of the most high Yahuwah, being in service for him, right? worship in workmanship you see and when i think of praise i think of music emotion you know like i said in the chat breaking forth in joy uh sound frequencies and you know we have to sometimes pause and really think right because i think we we don't we we don't well obviously in the the times and, and days we live in we don't really understand i don't think the power that praise and music and worship has. I mean, think of um, King Saul. When he was soothed by that music um, played on David's harp, right? Think of like, for example, the Battle of Jericho, right? Like how the children of Israelites marched around the, the, the wall, you know, and then the seventh day after seven times blowing their trumpets Man, the walls of Jericho, I can't imagine it as like a, a, you know, a easily breached structure, right? So sometimes we just have to think back and what, what's different back then in a sense? And, and here, I just want to throw this out there. Did you guys know that um, uh, the, the sound, the music that we're familiar with, the scales like do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, that's what's called like a concert pitch standard. And that was introduced in the late or 1930s. And eventually, so what I'm saying is prior to that, the scale was different. 
And it was, um, it was called solfagio. So instead of do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, it was like uh, ut, re, mi, fa, sol, you know. And, and the point is, um, some, some people who study this stuff, they say that David's harp was tuned according to that frequency. So in the 1930s, there was an attempt to have all of this change it up and it eventually was internationally adopted 40 years later. So we all, we think that this is what original music is like, but it's been tweaked already. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that out. Hallelujah, thanks for, your, um, for, your, for the presentation, Sister Kelly. Yes, Suzanne. I think um, that resonates with a lot of us, that, um, you know, frequency. We want to be on Yahoo's frequency, and, and it was, the scale was changed back in history. And even when we blow the shofar, the shofar is on Yahoo's frequency. That's why, like, every time in fellowship, you know, there's a, something good happens. I just feel like we need to blow the shofar. Praise him. Um, so, Tampa, I wanted to say thank something. Thank you. Uh, Sophia, you have your hand raised. I oh, do. Yeah. Uh, yes, that was powerful. That was, I mean, absolutely wonderful. I just have two comments that I'd just like to add. First, before I forget, just when um, the young lady, I didn't get her name, that just said about the musical uh, uh, notes being changed, and it just came to me, you know, Satan can never take what Yah has done. And, and make it, you know, he can never go and take what he has created, so he has to recreate something else. So now you listen to music, and it literally takes a lot for people to enter in. And, we're, and, and I did not know till she said that even that has been changed, just those notes of do, re, mi, fa, so over time. But he just had to change it because there's no way he was going to be able to get glory at all by using what Yah has already created. So he had to come in and switch up, you know, and just feed it to the masses and to know that it was purposely changed to not be able to honor and glorify, glorify Yah is just something, you know, in the music. But anyway, that's just amazing. I mean, sister, I mean there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, second is uh, what I want to say is, you know, when I was in the, in the Sunday church, um, I wrote some of the things that she, the, um, the young lady that presented, and, you know, some of the ways that we will, that I will see myself praising. I remember I used to just stretch out my hand, the spin, the span of the hand. And I just used to do that, you know, in worship when the spirit, when the Holy Spirit, when I was filled with the spirit. And I just used to do all these things in praise, in worship. And I never knew why. You know, I just, I just, it would just happen, it would just take over me. And to, for her to break it down, I'm reading, and I'm, and I'm reading along with the slide. And I see, I'm like, Wow. I did that. Wow, that's how I was praising. So I was actually just connecting the spirit room. The Ruach was leading me to worship in different forms that I didn't understand or knew. And it's just such a phenomenal teaching. I'm so phenomenal. I, it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's all I had to say. Oh, thank you, Sophie. Yes, I agree. Carolyn, go, you wanted to reply? Yes. Um, I just wanted to say how this, uh, I said in the beginning, you know, I tried to write everything down because if I tell you, you know, I, I've talked to Tamara several times, I get so excited that I get carried away. And uh, it's just amazing. But um, I've shared this with some, but when Mickey asked me to do this and she sent me the book, I was overwhelmed. And I thought, my gosh, this is going to take a lot of time. And, uh, you know, this, I don't even know this is important. And I just kind of had a, a, a battle going on within myself. And so I thought, well, you know, I really do need to do this. And it wouldn't leave me alone. And so one morning I got up and I thought, I'm going to do this. I, do you hear me? I'm going to do this. And I decided to do it. So I got into it and I was overwhelmed. And I thought, my goodness, this is unbelievable. I did not realize the power that we have through praise mm -hmm. and what it does to Satan, it tears him up and I could just see him trying to escape. And so when we, you know, get it, he wants to flee out of the first place he can get out. But I want to thank Mickey for, for giving me the opportunity to dive into this. I would have never known. And I think we are living in a time when we need 
We need this. And we have the greatest weapons that we can have through praise and prayer and worship. And uh, we don't need a sword. We don't need a gun. You know, I just believe that we have that power. And it's, ex it's exciting to me. And as I did this presentation, I wanted to reach out to those of you who are by yourselves because you are not alone. You have, you have a husband, you have, you have a leader, you have his presence, and he's with you, and he's going to guide you, and he's going to help you through anything that you're going through. And we're living in a pretty, pretty uh, scary time, but we just put our faith and our trust in him. And uh, I praise Yahuwah for for me yielding to him. Do you know if I hadn't have done it, I would have never known. And so I am so, so very grateful. So thank you, Mickey, for for getting it to me. And and I praise Yahuwah for, for the way that he, I have to tell you, I got up one morning, it was a Sabbath morning, and I went to my computer and it was gone. The whole thing was gone, and I had spent hours and hours and days and days, and I'm, I was just, and so I called AVG, and they were able to get it out for me. I lost it. So now I have it saved on everything. I will never lose it again. <laughs> I, I sent myself an email with it. And so, but anyway, I just praise you for the opportunity. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Carolyn, for, for Can I say something? Um, going through it all. And, and uh, it, I know it's touched a lot of ladies I'm seeing in the chat. And we will, um, I am recording it. Yes. Maybe. My internet's acting up. I'm sorry. I just wanted to say, Carolyn, I love you so much. Thank you so much for doing that. It was a burden Yahweh told me about. I had to get it done, and I knew I didn't have the, I didn't have it to do it. So bless you. And Father, we just ask you right now that you would that you would restore everything to Carolyn in energy and um, peace that she lost while she was doing this project. We praise you and we thank you for the information and we ask that you would help to make it a part of us in Yahushua's name. Amen. Amen. So be it. Hallelujah. Linda Demas, you have your hand raised? You're muted. There Sorry you about that. <laughs> I'm working on my phone and my computer. But Carolyn, thank you for that. That just, my heart was jumping for joy. Um, I used to dance flamenco. I danced ballet and I did um, a lot of, you know, sign language and stuff that Abba all put into my heart. He taught me how to praise him without saying a word. But one of the things that I wanted to say about was the breath. I didn't realize that your very breath is praise to Yahuwah. I'm like, oh my goodness. And, and the enemy wants to take that away. So he's got everybody wearing a mask, you know, which is so funny because today I had to go for an EEG and I didn't want to, I wanted to cancel it. I'm like, I don't need to get radiated. I don't need to do that. And they tell you they want you sleep deprived and, and they, um, they put all these lights in front of you that flash and well, I don't know. Anyways, Long story short, none of it bothered me. I was praising Yahuwah the whole time. And I said, you know what, Father, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to go and I'm going to expect that the results of that test is going to show that you have healed me so I can have the evidence to wave around. <laughs> and you know how the enemy likes to start to speak? I'm like, no, I didn't give you permission to speak to me. You do not get to speak to me. <laughs> so, you know. So I thank you very much for this. I, I love to dance. I love to praise Abba. And I'm really looking forward to dancing with my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Beautiful presentation. Thank you, Linda. All right, Jean. Jean Daniel. Yeah. 
you know, I had so many songs going through my head as she was reading those things. <laughs> and but the but the biggest and most important thing is that you know, right now we are in this battle in our country, and the world is in a battle. So our praise needs to be up. Our game and this this teaching was apropos for the timing. And uh, I thought it was just great. And praise Yahuwah for for um, for having this. You know, it's just very. It's such an important part of our life. It's a very important part of our strength um, in getting through the world system. You know. So thank you, Carolyn, for sharing that. Amen. Thank you, Mallory. Okay, I'm trying this, and I I'm not, I don't normally do this on my phone, so hopefully it works okay. Can y'all hear me okay? Really good. Okay, perfect. So, um, I was so sad that I missed the first part of the of the study. Um, I came in. Well, what happened is I just so happened to be checking through my email and realized, oh shoot, it's Tuesday, and it doesn't come in on my primary email. It comes in like through like my promotional emails, most of it's just junk. And I just so happen to be looking through it. And now I feel really bad because this is this is a topic that's like very near and dear to my heart. Um, because I never, I wasn't a dancer growing up. I always wanted to be, but I never was a dancer growing up. But um, I have always loved to sing. And, um, um, and I was part of, when we were going to Sunday church and everything, I was part of the praise and worship team um, and part of uh, part of choir and all those things. And I really enjoyed doing all that stuff. And that's probably one of the biggest things that I miss is sharing that joy and that excitement with other people. Because you look out sometimes and you realize that people need to – lighten up and loosen up and just realize that this is supposed to be this is supposed to be to our creator this is to our messiah this is like this is more important than anything you've got going on in your own personal life and this time is to show kind of it's an expression to show him how much you uh, love him that you uh, are just amazed and honored to be part of his family, to be part of uh, the, the, you know, to have the daily gift of just being alive. Um, and I, we went to a Southern Baptist church and, and I don't know how many of y'all have done Southern Baptist churches, but um, <laughs> dancing is not part of the Southern Baptist way. You don't dance. You, you just, you just don't. Um, but believe me, <laughs> and I got, a, I got some criticism for it, but I also got a lot of people that were just like, oh man, I love watching you up on stage because I never stopped moving. The entire time I was singing, I was also praising with my body. And like I said, I wasn't a dancer by trade, but I just loved to move and I couldn't help but move and put my hands up in the air and clap and encourage people to to express themselves and express the joy that we're supposed to have inside. And um, uh, so, you know, it was neat for, with Carolyn's uh, presentation, I appreciate it so much, um, to show that, hey, I'm not doing anything wrong. He actually encourages, you know, Yahuwah encourages us to um, make a joyful noise and to move our bodies uh, in a way that, um, praises and blesses, um, blesses him, um, because we're his, we're his creation, and, uh, it's just, it's just, as, like, as she was going through the bi different Bible verses for the 30 reasons, it was 30 reasons, 30 reasons why we should praise, uh, Yahuwah, so many of those verses made me think of multiple, uh, praise and worship songs, and it just brought it to my mind, like, you know, I really need to do that more. I kind of stopped doing it in my daily life because life just gets busy, but I need to do that more and spend that time, even if it's just in the shower, um, singing, 
to to do that because that to me was my that's my gift and my form of worship um and my way of praising um to him and i think that even though you know some of us some of us are dancers some of us are singers some of us do both um or some of us just don't feel comfortable because we just don't think we're gifted in that way it doesn't matter because it's not about us it's about him um and uh, I just, I was, I was very blessed and very touched by the, by the presentation. And I miss all, miss all y'all so much. <laughs> I, I'm going to definitely go back and look at the recording or listen to the recording after this. So, yeah, well, thank you, Mallory. I mean, that was, that's just really encouraging because you know what, it isn't about how you do it. It's just the fact that we do it. Right. And I can just a really quick thing is, um, you know, I praise him for his deliverance of, I, I think like I, where I could have been if I did not have that. And so there are times when I get caught up in the praise of like, especially with music, I just, it does move me. And I can remember Mario and Joshua would be like, mom, shh. You know, because I have a big woo woo I like to do because it just comes out of me, not because, you know, I'm trying to show off or anything. It just, I can't contain it because it's inside of me, the faithfulness and the praise that I have for what he's done in my life. And, but yet they're all like, oh, shh, shh, shh. and someone told, told them once, hey, do not calm her down because that is her way of praising Yahuwah. And so Mario kind of shut up a little bit about that. But I know I was like, woo -woo! And like oh my gosh, no, be quiet, Tamara. Anyway, that's my little, I do, I'm a, I love to praise because I know where I could have been on that street. I could have been dead. I could, I mean, I was not good. I was not good. Miss Mickey. You know, uh, when I um, when I came in, when I realized what the Melchizedek message was, I had two reactions. One of them was extreme, um, just joy. Joy does not cover it. It, it was ecstatic. Oh my God! I, you know, it was like that's it, that's it. And at the same time, right on its heels was the biggest sorrow I've ever felt in my life because I knew. Coming out of Christianity, they're not going to receive this. They're mm -hmm. not, they will not receive this. And, and I think about in the Old Testament where, or whatever, what's that verse, Father? What is that verse? Uh, my people die for a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it's like everybody's got little pieces of the truth, but we need to bring our little pieces in and, and pray over them and weigh them and find out whether they're truth or not. And then... I think one of the things about this teaching was that I learned so much about that praise is actually the purest form of warfare. Worship is actually the purest form of warfare, but that's on your face. And see, I, I'd been taught so many wrong things. I'd been taught that praise was fast and worship was slow. No, praise is everything she just talked about and worship is on your face. I mean, and, and I know that in some of the things that the worship was, uh, hands and stuff like that too but i mean guys we don't even realize but you know when you when you shout tamra it's a it's like a flame of fire that goes out of your mouth mm -hmm. and if you think about demons being little hairy things oh my, what a wonderful visual you know what i'm saying i mean i love that but it's, yeah. it's all those things like that the one thing i wanted to share with you there was the thing when, when it had about a hand, you know what I mean? And she was, she just described how it's supposed to go and stuff. And it's this thing. It's doing it in a circle. And I remember the original one that did all the research had said when she, when I heard her give this, she said that your fingers splayed do two things. One, they fling demonic stuff off as you're swirling around. She said, but on the other hand, spiritually, you're also gathering the blessings in. So, and I remember standing in church, in Pentecostal church, of course, doing that, you know. 
and feeling the change in the whole body and atmosphere, you know? Mm -hmm. So not all the time, of course, but oh my gosh, guys, I, I want to get back to that point where we're, we actually are the warriors and, and we're not carrying guns and swords, but we're carrying the tools he gave us and the weapons he gave us, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, all right, I'm done. Thank you, Mickey. Hallelujah. I love that idea that that woo woo is that fire. <laughs> I love that. All right, Sarah Jean. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, I just felt like I, I needed to like um, give my testimony because I found it so interesting that this presentation was given tonight. It was a very nice presentation, by the way. Um, so I missed a couple of meetings because I'm a worker hard by heart. I've been working so hard on my business and I, I'm always working. Sometimes I'm just so tired. But um, I've been having this health issue where like my hands like will swell up. And like all the testings I would get, like the doctors would say, there's nothing wrong with you. And people, people putting things in my head. Certain people are telling me, well, it's stress. Certain people are telling me, well, you could be heart having a heart attack because I work so hard. And I'm pretty young. I'm 29. So I don't think I was having a heart attack, but something was happening to me in my body. And I mean, the pain was like so excruciating. I started taking medication. Um, it was not working like I wanted to work. But the, the reason I wanted to say this is last night, um, I just like kneeled down and, and I, I started singing. And I did um, wave my hands and stuff. And I don't usually do that. And I, I slept, I had the best sleep I ever had last night. And, and it was after I praised. Um, I sent, I sung and then, you know, waved my hands. I, I don't usually praise like that. And today hearing this presentation, I was like, I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, do they know about me, what I'm going through? Um, so basically uh, by me singing and praising last night and I did it tonight as well. And it's like the pain keep coming less and less. And mind you, I've had this pain for so long. My hands will swell up and it's just the stress of working and running my own business and everything. But it's just like, you know, like, she said earlier, praising does heal the soul and the body, and it heals better than medication because all the meds yeah. that you know, I've taken, I even take natural stuff because I don't really take pharmaceutical stuff, but it, they didn't help. And it, it just started, um, you know, I just started feeling better since last night. And I did the same thing tonight. You know, I praised. I didn't, I didn't even start praising him because I wanted to be healed. I just felt the urge to do it. And um, I just don't feel the same pain. I feel like I'm getting better. And I feel like I needed to share this because I owe it to him. So. Amen. Thank you for praising him with your words. And Ingrid, I wanted to say goodbye, sister. So um, it's great to have you. I hope you can return another time. So, so blessed to have you. So, yes, Sarah Jane, that, I mean, you just praised him right there in your words, right there, sister. We love it. All right, Miss Donna. Oh, I'm, I am so excited to hear her say that. I can't, I like just want to jump through and just like, ah, this is so awesome. You know, I just want to encourage us to, um, you know, like we said before, you don't have to have a good voice. You don't have to know how, you don't have to have dance lessons. You just have to submit yourself to him. You know, you if it feels really weird. I want just want to tell you a really quick testimony of my of me. Now, I I I loved to sing when I was a child. I started dancing when I was, you know, back in way back in the day. Um, but I never sang with a chorus or any. Well, one time when I was a child, but I never sang with the church or anything like that. And I um, was at a gathering three years ago, where, where the, um, the, the musicians and the you know, singer were, they were doing spontaneous worship and praise. So we're not singing any songs that are hymns or that we've known from the past. And, and, they, and, and the brother was saying, everybody can sing. Everybody has a sound to make. Everyone has a song to release. And if you have something, just come on up. 
and just release it. We don't care how much, how bad you sound. We don't hear that. We don't care. Just do it. And I was there like I was a dancer. I was dancing and praising him. And I began to have this burning inside of me that I, to the point where I could not stop. So I had to go up and take the microphone and I just released whatever was inside of me. I've been singing this way ever since. <laughs> and I, we gather together with a group. We are different musicians coming from different parts of our area. We never, we never practice. We never have a song that we practice on our own. We just come together and then somebody starts to, to play, but we're listening and listening. So the point of me saying that is that, um, yes, if you, if you need to, it's wonderful to sing with, with the music, the songs that we have, but listen and just let the Holy Spirit lead, lead you. Open your mouth. The scripture says he will fill it and you will start to release what he has a now sound for us every moment to just release it into the atmosphere because it is so powerful. And, you know, Yahuwah spoke into existence, right? He, he said, let light be, you know, and, and again, we're carrying his Ruach within us. And so he has things that we need to release into the atmosphere now. It not only lifts us, but it changes things. It moves mountains. Mm -hmm. And um, just one comment, um, Tamara, that, you know, when you were saying the woohoo, I'm the woohoo person too. And I never was. I, I, for me to even be speaking like this, when I was a child, I was so, so shy and so sensitive. And to do what I'm doing now is just all him. But I think also that the, the, I always think the depths of what we've been through, where we've come from, what we know we've been delivered from, is in, it, our, our worship is in direct relation to that. And so like you said, you cannot, you can't keep it in. You have to. It's just, it, it's like a volcano that just erupts. So it, don't be afraid, like just open your mouth and just when you're by yourself, wherever you are, just let it go. <laughs> oh, or even in the congregation. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, I've been waiting for this next nice song. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Uh, Raquel, you, you're next. <laughs> so I have a little bit of a testimony. Um, I used to serve on a ministry with um, disabled teen, teens and young adults. The vast majority were um, nonverbal autistic, and um, some with severe cerebral palsy, others uh, Down syndrome. And in this ministry, we had a worship leader. Bobby was 22 at the time, but I think mental age was probably around three or four. But he was our worship leader, because let me tell you, Bobby loved to praise, Bobby loved to sing, Bobby loved to dance. And it's really interesting that this is coming to my mind right now, but um, one day it was just he, him, and maybe two other students in our class of normally 30. And um, I was like, okay, Bobby, I'm going to put on this song. And he just gave me this look like, you have got to be kidding. You fell and bumped your head. And he's like, no, Kel, not worship. I'm like, Bobby, but it's a really cool song. And I don't even remember the name of the song. I was like, no, Bobby, come on, we can listen to it. It's a good song. And he's all, song good, not worship. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, not worship. No, no. And I was like, okay. So we had to put on a whole other song. But when you guys were talking about frequency and all of these things, I'm wondering if because of the way he praises and the way that he worships, and truly he taught me how to praise, truly dance and don't care, sing with all of you, it doesn't matter because it's unto Yahweh. And I'm wondering if the song that he heard, even though it was a good song, you know, it was a nice song, but it wasn't a praise song. It wasn't a song worthy of our king. It wasn't a, a, a song worthy of Yahweh. And, and 
just all of this is coming to me right now. And for those of us who are afraid to sing, I will share that um, one of the other kids in our class, his name was Johnny, we would always ask him to sing and he would never, he, he would utter sounds, but that was it. There was never any words. And whenever we would ask him to sing, he would just open his mouth and his tongue would move like he was trying to sing and say the word. And one of the times I remember telling him, God hears you, Father hears you, just sing, just sing, Johnny. And he started crying. Mm -hmm. So I know he was heard. Amen. So for those of us who don't feel like we're, or for, that feel that we're vocally challenged, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's beautiful. Thank you, Raquel. Uh, Cynthia. Praise, praise Yahweh. This was just amazing. It is so refreshing. Thank you, Caroline. The, the scriptures, the praise. Um, here in Calgary, I used to go to a church. Uh, uh, it's called the Victory Church. And Every Sunday morning, our worship was about an hour and a half and sometimes would be the whole service. And it was nothing but flagging, dancing, singing in the spirit, free singing in the spirit, no particular song, but just free praising and singing in the spirit. And I have seen miracles happen that are unbelievable. People getting up from uh, wheelchairs, deaf being healed, mute talking, and we would scream, just scream out. The whole church would just scream, and we saw change happen in the city. We saw laws changed in the city with just this small little group of people praising. So it is so powerful to praise, and when we do it together, collectively, corporately, it's amazing. This is the only thing that I miss of that church, <laughs> nothing else. <laughs> but this, I just, just reading, uh, just Caroline reading all these verses has been so refreshing. I don't think I can sleep now. I'm just so full of energy. <laughs> <laughs> Praise be to Yahweh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I think that is one of the things about a Zoom thing is that, you know, when you're con together and you're praising together it's just a little different I have a little um, experiment I guess I'd like to try here but let's let's get Jeannie and then um, well I'm gonna uh, do something real quick and uh, go ahead Jeannie yeah, real quick because it's getting late I know that um, yeah I, I was uh, chuckling because you know somebody had put in the chat about the cats purring. I think it was Suzanne and how their frequency is at a certain place. Well, I have two, two cats. They're, they're supposed to barn cats, but they're far from that. Anyway, um, what I have found is that um, whenever I have stuff that's coming through the computer, they get very anxious. And it, they're evidently the frequency that's coming out of the laptop really bothers their ear, except Yes, they're very sensitive. Cats have very sensitive ears. And um, I don't know if you guys are familiar of um, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. That's uh, on YouTube. His name is, uh, he's a, a brother of color and his name is Prince Dawid. And he, he just, he, he does what you said, um, Donna, where he, it just, the praise just flows out of him. And um, he'll pick like a subject for the, and he'll do like six hours. I don't, and he said, he's, it's just like, you have to start out by, he says, anybody can do this. You can, and just really um, just go deep and, and just let it flow. And he uses scripture and everything. I, I would encourage anybody who wants to, you know, just have that in the background. It just fills the airwaves of the room. I listen to him a lot. But it's hallelujah, hallelujah. And um, interestingly enough, when he is on, and that's on the laptop, the cats are not affected. Uh, evidently, the, the, the frequency that comes out of him is perfect. So anyway, I just wanted to, you know, 
thank you so much, Carolyn, for everything that you put into this presentation. I really, really appreciate it. Praise you, Husha. That's awesome. Jeannie, you want to put that in the chat, the name of that, for those that are interested in that? Thank you. Okay, so our night is drawing night, and I just thought that we would just take a minute. There's 25 people still on the call. And just take a minute, and if you could do one word or a little phrase that you would say right now to Yahweh to praise him. Just get it in your mind. Okay, I am going to call out names, and I'm going to unmute you. So when you see that your thing is unmuted, I'd like you to just call out that thing. We're going to praise them together as I call out your name. So let's start. I'll start with Carolyn. Okay, let me unmute. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, Carolyn. Yes. Praise and thank you so much, Yahushua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alice. Hmm. See, I don't know if I can unmute it there. Hallelujah. Praise to you, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. 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 Jean. Hi. <laughs> the grace of praise. Um, yeah. Raquel. Thank you, and blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah. Donna. I can't unmute. Can you unmute yourself, Donna? Go ahead. You are worthy. You are set apart, Kodesh. Hallelujah. 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 Kathy? I can't thank you enough, Yahuwah. Supras. <laughs> Amen. Mickey? I've heard one time that the purest form of praise was a heartfelt thank you, but my word is awesome. Amen. Amen. Stephanie. Sing praise with tambourine and dance. Amen. Um, Amen. Heather. Mm. Praise you, Yahuwah, for your mercy endures forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jeannie. Sure. Dominique and all creation I declare your glory. And so do I. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sharia. Praise you, Abba, for everything you have done for me so far. And everything you're going to be doing from now on. Amen. Amen. Linda from Iowa. Glory to your name, Father. Praise you for Yahushua. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And Kim, who's with you? So grateful for your love, Baba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mallory? Holy, holy, holy is mm. Yahuwah Almighty, who was Amen. and is and is to come. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Cynthia. Baruch Hashem Yahweh, my King, my faithful mm. Yahweh. Thank yeah. you for all that you've done in my life and continue to do. Um, Praise and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, you are. Hallelujah. Ooh. Sweet, sweet, sweet. 
Denise? Denise? I'm here, thanks. Um, I am thankful and I praise God that I can come boldly before his throne of grace, to find mercy and grace to help in time of need. Hallelujah, thank you. Linda from Florida? You need to unmute. Linda? Holy. Thank you, Linda. Mary? I just want to say, Holy, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, Yahuwah first. Your grace and your love for us, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sophia? Worthy to be praised, our ancient of days, holy you are. Amen. Tracy? Uh, Abba blesses us with great mercies and great love and long suffering. He is worthy and he's a good father. Amen. Amen. Dorothy? Dorothy? All right, we'll move to Sarah Jean. Blessed to your will, Abba Yahuwah. Amen. Elena? Hi. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Uh-huh. Shalom. I have a... Um, Psalm 75, we give praise and thanks to you, O Yahuwah. We praise and give thanks. Your wondrous works declare that your name is near, and they who invoke your name rehearse your wonders. Blessed be Abba Yahuwah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And just right now, I'd like to acknowledge our um, sisters that are in the South Idaho Women's Correctional Institute to take a pause. And if you ladies would share with each other one of the things that you is on your heart to praise Yahuwah with. For we have so much to be praised. I praise Yahuwah for the deliverance he's done in my life. Amen. That he didn't leave me behind. But he's called me to be one of his daughters. Just like he's called each and every one of you. And he has given you that invitation to accept Yahusha as your Lord and Savior who is our high priest, our Melchizedek priest, who goes before the Father for each one of us as we come before him in our praises. And may our lives be an act of worship as we bow down and get down before him to let him know how worthy he is to be praised as we love him so much and we know that we would not be us without him. He's delivered us. He's made our lives more beneficial because of the ways that he has drawn us close. Dear Abba Father, we come before you humbly as sisters and daughters of you, Father. We love you and we thank you so much for this time together. And we thank you that you have given us a tool of praise, a tool of praise to come and worship you, but it's just more than worship. It's more than thanking you. It is a tool to fight the enemy. It is a tool to rise up and become more than what we were. It's a tool to raise us up when we are down. And Father, we just thank you for Carolyn. We ask you to bless her as she has brought forth this message and given us a more of an understanding of what 
praise really is about, Baba. It is more than we even thought. We thank you, Father, for helping us and giving us this tool, just like the mighty armor that we are to put on each and every day. We ask you to watch over us as we depart, that you would take care of us, you keep us safe and well, and bless those that are not here tonight, that they are all doing well also, Father. We thank you for this special time that you have um, given to us, and we just... We do give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory for you so, so worthy to be praised. In the mighty name of Yahusha, our high priest and king. Amen. 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 I have a quick question. Quick question yes. for the ladies. Can I? Yes. I, I've been thinking of you all week long or maybe last two weeks since the last time we met right but um someone said in the in the group and i'm so i apologize i forgot who it was and i've been trying to remember who someone was studying about breath is this the sister the sweet sister that mentioned that last meeting is she here tonight do you remember who that was Tamara? i don't uh -uh. i think it was julia Julia, oh yes, you're right, Julia, and she's not here tonight. No, no. Oh, I was so yeah. interested to see what her studies were like, but hallelujah. I just want to say praise. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> I, have, I have one thing I need to tell you guys, because it was a warning that I was given when I first heard this like 20 years ago, and she said that when you are praising, you cannot focus on the fact that you're doing warfare um because then it's not praise but it's the fact that when you praise it is warfare so mm -hmm. just so that you know ah that's good thank Very you for the good. distinction mickey hallelujah thank you god well we, we will so look forward to you guys um we'll see you again on the first of let's see on july i don't know what date let me let me just get that so I can put it in your ear. July uh, 6th. July 6th. We'll see you again on July 6th. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Oh, Raquel, you have a prayer request, huh? Yes, I do. Um, my friend Misty, she was on here earlier, um, but she got bit by some type of critter. I don't know, so she had to take a Benadryl, so she, she logged off. Um, but if we can just pray for her situation at home and some direction and some softening in her husband's heart, um, he has decided that he wants to leave. Mm. And, you know, they have three little ones and she's just not sure. You know, she, she decided about six months ago that she was going to give it her all, you know, gave up her private bank account. They actually put the backup house on the market, and it got sold. Um, she just decided she was going to give her all to her marriage. And, um, you know, this is what her husband hit her with um, a few days ago. So um, she's still in it. She's still willing to fight for her marriage. Um, but her husband, I think he's suffering from a lot of PTSD as a veteran and just a lot of things that he's got going on that he um and resolve stuff okay so definitely what, some prayer what was her name raquel misty misty uh -huh. uh suzanne do you mind uh praying for misty yes uh Heavenly Father, we come before you as sisters in humility and in gratitude of your deliverance, your salvation, your praise and honor in our lips. And Abba, we come before you with the need before you with our dear sister here, Raquel, and with Misty, we lift her up before your throne, Abba Yahuwah. We ask that you comfort her, that you bring about your presence of love you hug her tonight abba and you just visit her in her in her sleep in her dream and abba that you impress upon her how that you are with her that you will never forsake her or leave her abba Yahuwah, and that you are leading the way and you are already 
your answer, the peace is already on its way, Abba. And I just ask that she would just be still and know and, and uh, just take a moment, Abba, to just be still and know that you are there, Abba. And we bring our hearts, our hearts are united here tonight, Abba Yahuwah, as we lift dear Misty up before your throne. And we trust that your word has gone forth and it will accomplish that which has been served, which has Hallelujah. been Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I'd like to pray. Yeah. I just I lift up Misty up to you right now, Abba Yahuwah. And by the power invested in me through the rock, Hakodesh, I speak healing into her life. And whatever this is that has, has bit her, I I cause, because of the power in me, I speak that venom be null and void. Amen. I speak healing in her, Father. Yes. I pray that you would intervene in her marriage. And I bind Satan and I bind every work of the enemy and I command you to back off, leave this family alone. Mm. I pray for healing in this gentleman, Father, who has problems from the service. I pray speak healing into his life as well. We give you all the praise and all the glory, for you are in control of all things. Bless this family, I pray, in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 And, and so be it. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All Thank right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. See ya. You all have a blessed night tonight. Get some good rest. And have, we'll see you next time. Hello. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye